Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's time to talk about what I've been loving this past month. But before I get into that, I've had my hair cut! It probably doesn't seem like a big thing to you because my hair's still kind of quite long. It's down to about there, but to me it's a big deal because I've had about four or five inches. I think in some parts of my hair we cut five inches off my hair so it's quite a lot shorter it was coming down to about ooh, there before now it is literally just up to there and this is when it's dead straight so inevitably I will be styling it slightly differently this is kind of only two days after my cut when I wash it I'm sure I will style it back in my old style which will be slightly wavy, slightly curly, which will take some more length off it as well in terms of visually. A bit worried how short it's going to look. I'm still getting used to it. These little bits here in the front that have been cut quite a bit shorter than they were keep falling in front of my face. So I'm sorry if I play with my hair a little bit more in this video than I normally do, but it's only because I'm getting used to this shorter hair. But anyway, let's get on with the favourites. I've got loads of skincare favourites to show you. I've been trying out so many. So I'm just going to delve in and talk about it by brand actually, because although there's quite a few, although there's quite a few products, there's only a few brands in there. And there's no surprises which brands, they're mostly my favourite skincare brands. So here we go. You guys know that I am a huge fan of oils oils for cleansing, oils for moisturizing, oils for my hair, oils for just about everything. This is the new cleansing oil from Bare Minerals. It's called Oil Obsessed, which I think is a pretty good nickname for me. And it's called the Total Cleansing Oil. It's from the new skincare range from Bare Minerals, which I am utterly loving. I would have put all of the products that I have from the range into the favorites, but that would have been a little bit boring for you guys. So I've just picked out two of my favorites for this video. This is probably the best cleansing oil that I have ever used. I absolutely love this oil. It takes everything off, and I mean everything. It takes off waterproof mascara without rubbing away at your eyes, and it takes off all my makeup and leaves my skin feeling really beautifully soft and hydrated and moisturized, but super, super clean. The other Bare Minerals skincare product that I wanted to show you is also new to their range, and it's called Skin Longevity. It's their Vital Power Infusion. It's used under the serum. You can use it as a serum, but I tend to use it under my serum because I'm using a serum to counteract a little bit of hyperpigmentation. So this goes under my serum and it's all about skin health. This contains the Japanese herb Long Life. Google it, look it up. It has huge claims and benefits to increase lifespan of those who ingest it in Japan. And it only grows on one island in Japan, but it's included in this, so hopefully that's going to just increase the cell longevity, I hope, and help against anti-aging. I'm using two pumps every morning and two pumps every night, and I do miss it when I don't use it. I went up north for a few days and I just took the very bare minimum with me, and this was too big and heavy to be taken up with me. And I really, really missed it, and I was so glad to get back to London and put this on my skin again. I know that sounds really sad, but that's the kind of skincare kind of person that I am. When it comes to cleansing, you guys know that I like to do a double cleanse at night. So should you. I've been using this Antipodes Grace Gentle Cream Cleanser as my second cleanse. And on a Sunday morning, I tend to use this as my cleanser too, because it's so comforting and... It, it really is gentle and it's just super nourishing as well as cleansing as well. So after I've removed my makeup with my Bare Minerals cleansing oil, I'll use this Antipodes cream cleanser. It's just heaven. Still on the cleansing, but moving a little bit into the skin pampering kind of realm, this is the By Terry Dual Exfoliation Scrub. If you've seen my vlog video from a week or two back, I will link it below. I actually included my whole Sunday night skin pamper session and quite a few of these products were included in that. So make sure to click that link and I will, or I'll kind of link it up here somewhere so that you can see it. But this is a dual action 
scrub and mask as well. It's got all the enzymes to lift away all the dead skin cells and then there are some really gentle particles in there so you can use it as a scrub as well. So I tend to apply a little bit on my face and I massage it in and then I leave it on for about five minutes to let the enzymes do their work. It smells gorgeous just like all the By Terry skincare products and it's become a real favorite. Staying with By Terry, I also love this little eye cream. It's the Hydra Radiance Eye Contour. It's really, really lovely, perfect for this season because it's very, very light but very nourishing as well at the same time. Just a tiny little drop and I will just use my ring finger to pat it in around my eyes. Body Shop have really upped their game when it comes to skincare. I feel that they're just going more and more for the higher end and also for the slightly older, more mature market. This is their Drops of Light Serum and it's a really beautiful, luminous, brightening serum. I think it's brightening in terms of kind of long-term effect, but it really gives a lovely luminosity to the skin, and I love this under makeup when I want a really kind of glowy look to my makeup. Moving on to one of my favorite skincare brands, Alpha H. No great surprise there. This is their Beauty Sleep Power Peel. I use their liquid gold every so often, about once a month I give my skin a little bit of a boost and I use it three times in one week, once a month if that makes sense. This is relatively new, I feel that this is stronger. It's another overnight treatment and you apply this on its own after you've cleansed and just on clean bare skin this goes on no moisturizer on top unless you really want it or need it because i think that dilutes the effect i have to say the first time i used this i really saw the effects of this on my skin and i didn't actually remember why my skin was doing what it was doing i was getting little bits of dry skin and i think that was the dead skin coming off because after that whenever i've used it i haven't had that same reaction so i think it was just the first time. It is quite powerful, so I would recommend doing a little patch test if you can get a sample of it beforehand. Serious anti-aging skincare, and the reason I say that to you is because there is 0.5% retinol in there. So that's quite strong. You do need to be sure that your skin can take the retinol, not everyone can, so a little patch test I think is a really good idea. Always use the sun cream. Which brings me on to my next products. Again from Alpha H, you guys know that I always wear sun protection, even in London, even when it's not summer, I'll still wear sun protection because with my darker skin, the way that I will show my aging will be little bits of hyperpigmentation, which I can see already. So I am really, really on it with my sun care. So I'm really excited because Alpha H has got some new sun care in its range. This one is amazing. It's their Protection Plus Daily SPF 50 Plus, which means that it gives complete broad spectrum protection. There's UVA and UVB protection in this, and it's very, very light on the skin, so you don't really feel it when it's on, and there's no kind of white chalkiness on my skin when I'm wearing this. And it's great under makeup too. And this one I'm really, really excited about. There is nothing you can do about the aging on the back of your hands. So this has become one of my best friends. This is the Protection Plus Hand Cream, and this has also got an SPF of 50 plus, UVA and UVB. I don't think I've seen a hand cream with this high an SPF. And sure, you could use any SPF on the back of your hand, so it doesn't have to be a specialized one for the hands, but why not? It's been made to be super nourishing as well. It's not sticky as well, which means I can drive when I've got this on. I don't have to worry about my hands slipping off the driving wheel. This one also has vitamin C, so it's going to increase the radiance in the skin as well. You guys know I am so bad at putting on strip lashes, like so bad. I'll put on one eye, that goes great, and I'll put on the other eye. It keeps pinging up, it doesn't go on properly, it starts sticking into my eye, my eye starts watering like crazy I'm wiping it away in the end I end up taking it off wiping off my makeup and starting all over again and not wearing lashes and that's a regular occurrence 
apart from a couple of brands that I've tried. So I was really excited to try these from Kiss Lashes and these are trios. I'm better at putting on individual lashes but it takes so long. I use the Huda Beauty Alicia, I think they're called, but it takes so long to get a full set of lashes on if I'm using the individuals. This is like having a third of a strip lash in each lash. So you only need to put on like three or maybe four of these, but you can place them where you want them, which is great if you just want them on the outside corner. I'm currently wearing uh, one, two, three, three of these on each eye, literally just in my outer two thirds of my eye. So much easier to put on, for me anyway, because I can just place it with the tweezers exactly where I want to. There's no pinging up on one side because I haven't put enough glue on or I haven't let the glue dry for long enough and all of that jazz, which I just find so hard to do. So I've loved these. This is actually my second box. I'm going through them quite quickly, but that's just because I'm so excited to be able to wear lashes now. When I have got the time to do it though, I've been trying out this new brand. Well, it's new to me and I think it is new. It's called The Lash Ink. And they very kindly sent me three pairs of their lashes. You can see that they are quite different. The middle one is really a lot heavier, very glam. The bottom one is much more natural. I think that's number seven. That's the one I've been wearing a couple of times. The top one, which is number one, is still quite heavy and quite glam, but still not quite as heavy as the middle one, which is number eight. So I'm not quite sure how many they have in the range, but these were quite easy to put on as strip lashes go. Mostly I think because the tape or whatever it is, the band is really flexible. It's not quite as stiff as some lashes are. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm obviously a lash convert and I'm becoming obsessed. These days, it seems you cannot do your makeup without adding highlighter onto your cheekbones and all the usual places. If you guys have seen any of my recent tutorials, you know that I'm also addicted to highlighter. So I just wanted to show you this new one that I bought recently and I am loving. Now at the risk of blinding you, I'm gonna show you the box. I hope that has not blinded you. Is that the word? This is from a makeup brand called Saliha. You can't really buy it that easily here in the UK. I managed to get it online. And this is called Give Me Glow. I'm gonna show you the highlighter in a second, but the box is so bling as well. So if you thought the box was bling, then check out the actual compact. Literally like a gold coin. I have got it in a shade called Iconic Bronze. It's a beautiful gold, but with a bronze tone to it as well. It's so beautifully embossed that I'm using only the very lightest touch when I use this because I don't want to lose the embossed pattern too quickly. But it is a really beautiful, beautiful shade and so perfect for darker skin tones. I'm wearing it on my cheekbones at the moment. You can see it's really, really subtle, but you can build it up. Believe me, you can really build this up if you want that really full on bling highlighter. But it is so, so pretty. I'm obsessed with this highlighter, but I know the embossed bit will leave me soon, but I will still be left with a beautiful highlighter. Just a couple of lip products to tell you about. I know I'm probably really late to the party. This is the Clarins Instant Light. I don't know why I hadn't tried this before, but I'm addicted to this. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's their natural lip perfecter. I am wearing it in the shade seven. I'm wearing it in the shade seven. It's a really lovely natural shine very very creamy moisturizing it's kind of shiny but not glossy glossy but it's just perfect for every day and i take this with me wherever i go because even if my lipstick that i've been wearing wears off i'll put this on afterwards and last up for makeup it's the rosie for autograph lipsticks i have two the other one is in my handbag or one of my handbags and i can't find it this one is Dolly Baby and the other one is Love Something. I can't remember what it's called. The Love Something one is the one that I've been wearing loads and loads. It's the one I was wearing in my most recent tutorial, my summer makeup tutorial. So I'll link that for you below and I'll try and link it somewhere up there so that you can click on that and check that out. 
it that other shade is beautiful it's like a geranium color and I really got to find it it's in one of my handbags this one is slightly more muted and more of an everyday tone this one really is my lips but better these lipsticks are so pigmented but so creamy they're not matte but they've got so much pigment that they stay on just as well as any matte lipstick but they're way way more comfortable on the skin and the packaging on these is so pretty it's rose gold so of course I was going to love it and it's got that gorgeous little click that I love it's a magnetic click so you know that it's going to stay closed in your makeup bag and I'm really naughty I'm guilty sometimes of not using a makeup bag and just shoving this into my handbag so I know that it's going to stay closed and not get ruined in my handbag just a couple of hair products to tell you about before I leave you alone for this month's favourites. But having said that, if I could put Olaplex in every single monthly favourites, I would. It was in last month's favourites, I'll link that for you below so you can check out what it is and why, but basically it has transformed my hair and my hair's health and how it feels and how it looks, but from the inside, it's not just kind of just cosmetic on top. It really, really has changed my hair. So consider that a favorite in every single video <laughs> that I make from now on. But for this month, I wanted to tell you about a couple of things. One is this range from Living Proof. This is the shampoo and conditioner. There's also a pre-wash treatment, but I tend to stick to my Olaplex. So I've been using my Olaplex before I wash my hair as a treatment and then I use the shampoo and the conditioner. This is from their new Timeless range, so it's for aging hair. I'm not quite sure what that means, but we do know that hair changes its texture as we get older, it tends to lose its moisture and its hydration, so this is putting all of that back in your hair. And the first time I used this, I used this without using my Olaplex because I really wanted to see what the effects were and it is really really good if you're not using the Olaplex then definitely use the pre-wash treatment beforehand so you make it into a three-stage treatment for your hair consider it treatment it's not just shampoo and conditioner it's actually a treatment for your hair while you're cleaning it and they claimed that you would need to wash your hair less often when you use these and I wasn't quite sure about that because you know, if I go to the gym and this and that, I, I, I kind of know when I need to wash my hair. So I thought, let me test this out. And I, I'm telling you, it really did make a difference. I normally wash my hair twice a week. And when I do wash it, it really, I know that I need to be washing my hair. I really didn't need to. I mean, I washed it, but I really didn't need to wash it. It wasn't in dire need of washing. My hair did feel cleaner for longer. So to me, that is absolutely amazing for when I go on holiday because I hate washing my hair in hotels. I hate the hair dryers, I hate everything. So I would definitely take these with me when I go away so that I have to wash my hair less often. I bought these straighteners last October. These are the Cloud9 straighteners. Never used them, never even took them out of the box. I don't even know why I bought them because I don't use straighteners, but I was sold on the idea that they're the best straighteners, blah, 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 you know. Bought them, stayed in a box, gathered dust, end of story. Until a couple of weeks ago, my hair was really annoying me. I couldn't get it to do anything, probably because it needed that five inches cut off. So I thought I'll just straighten it because nothing else was working. And I pulled these out of the box. First of all, isn't it great? It's got this cover on here. Anyway. Decided to try these. <laughs> Hadn't even looked to see how they work. They are so, so easy to work. There's just one on off switch and there's different heat settings here as well. So I put it on the right heat setting for my hair, which is the one just above 150, but below 200. I think it's probably about 180, 185. So easy to use. I'm with straighteners the way I am with false lashes, absolutely hopeless. But these just slide through the hair and they're so easy to use to curl the hair. I mean, it's just a complete revelation to me. I'm gonna show you, but they're not on, so they're not gonna ruin my hair. But I would just do that and, and pull it down like that. And I can't do that with my GHDs. For some reason, I either hold them too tight or it's gripping my hair too tight and I'm tugging away at it and then the whole thing just, it doesn't work. These ones are 
amazing. I don't know why I took so long to get them out of the box. Let me know if you think that my hair looks good straight. I know that you always, always see me with my hair curly because that is how I always style it. But I'm quite liking this, especially now that it is healthier and thicker at the bottom since I had it cut. So yeah, let me know in the comments below, should I go with straighter hair more often? Because now I have these, I can do that. So that is the end of a very rambly May favourites. I thought this was going to be a really short video. I don't think it's going to be. Let's see how short I can edit it down to. So I'm sorry if it's another rambling one. I do tend to go on when I talk about my favourites, but it's only because I love these products so much and there's so much more that I could tell you about all of these products and why I've included them, but then we would be here till... I don't know, till Christmas, so let's not go there. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for coming back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe so you can come back for more videos. I'm on Snapchat and Instagram and all the other social media, Snapchat especially, and Instagram especially. I'm on those every day. So if you're not following me on Snapchat and Instagram, I will add my links down below in the description box, so make sure to check those out and add me, follow me. I'm going to start doing weekly giveaways on my Snapchat, so make sure you're following me there. And other than that, thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Uh. Uh -huh. yeah. uh. Uh -huh. yeah.